Eleven Mile Reservoir is one of Colorado's premier cold water fisheries and a prime location for ice fishing. Sitting at 9,000 feet elevation in the broad scenic valley known as South Park, the reservoir usually freezes over in early December. Today, experienced angler Brian Johnson of Salida and his fishing partners are setting out to fish the west end of the reservoir for trout. After a short walk from the parking lot, they arrive in an area they know from previous trips will put them just past a weed line in water that is 10 to 15 feet deep. After augering a hole, Brian drops in his fish finder to check the depth. The depth is good, and Brian augers a second hole beside the first. Here he explains the strategy behind fishing two holes simultaneously. Well, basically, anytime I fish out here, I just start start with something something big and aggressive to start with and have the fish let me know what they want. But typically, I'll drill two holes and I'll have one with something big down there, try to track the fish in, and then something little just dead sticking it. In, in case the fish want something a little more subtle. You know, start jigging and if you're not seeing fish then, then it then slow down or downsize and get some get some smaller stuff down there that they might be more appealed to eat. I got about eight rods in here. I'll go as small as two pound tests and I'll go as big as ten. Have a rod in here with ten just for see if I can get some pike to come in on it. And tube jigs always work anywhere you fish them. And then colors out here. You can't go wrong with pink or white. They seem to be the best. Every once in a while the green or something else will work, but they're the standbys. And I typically use just a half piece of mealworm. Just don't need that big old mealworm on there and get the juices flowing a little bit. You know, get the scent out there. Although trout are the primary target today, a little healthy fish though. 11 Mile is also home to a robust population of northern pike. And you never know when one will hit your lure. Oh, geez. Pike. <laughs> and many of these predators grow very large. Fish finders are not necessary to catch fish, but they are useful tools that can help increase your catch. Well, it just shows you when the fish are in there, you don't, you don't have to stare. You don't have to hold your rod the whole time and watch for the bite. You see them come in, then you can, you can wait for them to hit, or you know they might come in and you see them come in and then they go away. And if you give it a little jig, you can turn them back around and get them to come in and eat it. You know, some of these South Park lakes, if you have a nice ice hut, you can see down, the, the water's clear enough, you can see the fish. One of two or three feet off the bottom, and then I'll fish another one higher up. And just kind of cover the whole water column. Start with a big jig in one hole, and then put a, you know, some kind of small jig down the other hole. This is just a tube jig and a, this is a trout magnet. Buy these things at any sporting goods store. I just fish feel, or sight, if I have my one that's just sitting there stiff you know if you got a little wrinkle in your line or something but you see it straighten out a bit because some of them in here they'll bite real light sometimes jigging and pausing works too you'll jig it for a while and then you'll just stop it and they'll come in and eat it techniques he uses here are the same used for catching trout anywhere being in the right place with the right techniques on a day when trout are cooperative is a day on the ice filled with nearly non-stop action. <laughs>